It's, it's this way, turtle. I've been thinking about making videos on where I live, specifically in little Tokyo area. For a very long time, I was very afraid of filming outside, and I still am, but I realized that part of me wants to document my time here in little Tokyo because I don't think I can <laughs> afford to live here. It's a very small area and sadly it's been shrinking as time goes on. So I don't know, I've been feeling really nostalgic and reminiscing the years I've spent here. It would be nice to capture some of the memories of what it was like living here. Honestly, today I just feel like cooking food from the markets that I go to today. I will take you along with me and try to film little Tokyo in case you know, you don't know this place existed or you're visiting LA or you just want to know more about Little Tokyo. There's three grocery markets that are in this area. I don't really go to the one that's in the most crowded area. So it's about 1048. So I think it'll still be not too crowded right now. So let's go. <laughs> We got our groceries. First thing first, fresh pork loin tonkatsu. Two boxes of strawberries. They were on sale two for four dollars and the pack I bought yesterday were very disappointing so we have a lot of strawberries now. Blueberries which were also on sale. Spam because I haven't had spam in a long time. I got spam light to be like a little bit healthier. Heavy whipping cream because I want to try making those fruit sandals since I have so many strawberries. And then the last two items were not necessary, but I want to try them out. So first one is a pack of mini yakwa cookies. So yakwa cookies are, I don't know, a type of Korean cookie. I saw a pack and I want to try it. So this will be my snack for the day. I really wanted a Thai tea. So when I saw this, I figured this was a better deal than going out and buying Thai tea. So I hope this one's good. I've never tried this brand. Okay, I opened the pack of cookies because I just wanted to try one, but oh my God, I didn't realize how many they were. <laughs> These are so cute. It looks like a button. It's really dense, mostly chewy, but I like it. I would get it again. I think it's a great little like snack with like tea or like coffee. Okay, let's try this. I made these little rings yesterday just for fun and they were very fun to make and I think they're super cute. So I made the pink and white one first and then this one and then this one. My only issue while I was making it was that the beads that I used, I guess they weren't very like well made because they're all like slightly different sizes and 
sometimes like slightly different colors. At least now I know how to make them. I almost want to make more of these, but I don't have a lot of this very thin type of wire left. I've been just getting back into like making things for fun, getting into all of my hobbies that I abandoned. I had a phase where I really liked making beaded things, specifically beaded rings, because they're smaller and therefore take less time to make, but these are actually really cute and I like them. Oh yeah, I remade the Thai tea. This is a different brand, but I think you can just tell by the color that this one tastes more like the real thing for right now. I was gonna make food like right away, but I'm not hungry, probably because of all the Thai tea I've been drinking. Okay, so this has been my little station, whatever I need it to be, it turns into that. So right now it's my beading station. So far I've been using it to hold some beads though. So here I have my tray for, I guess like planning out my beads and just storing some extra bits and pieces from other projects. Okay, I uh, ended up just getting in the zone and making a bunch more things, but this one was first. I thought this bead right here was super funny because it has like the yen sign and then it says rich and it like kind of looks like a balloon. Shake test, sounds pleasing. So that was the first one and then I think I made this one next. So this is a beaded phone strap. It's a little bit on the longer side, but I was going with like the pink and white theme. And then I made two matching phone charms from what I've made so far. These are my favorite, maybe because they're matching. And then I made a blue themed phone strap. This was my first one I made and I think I made the whole, the loop just like a little bit too small. You can still put the strap through it. It just takes a bit of effort. It is very satisfying seeing all of them like together like this. Yeah, so these are all the phone straps, beaded phone straps, and then these are like more phone charms. I'm glad I'm finally using up my beads because it's very satisfying. It's about five o'clock right now, which is the kitty's dinner time. And I have not eaten anything solid except for the yakwa cookies, so I should make myself dinner too. I really need to like clear my desk, but I have too much stuff. Ugh. So I've been feeding them smalls again. I have no issues with the quality and the cats really like it. It's just a little expensive. I can't afford to feed them every meal with this stuff.
Okay, I killed that meal, but I think I have a headache because of the smell of oil and fried food. So to counteract that, we're gonna have some dessert or sugar. So I'm thinking of making the fruit sando because I bought heavy whipping cream and I have so many strawberries and I do have some white bread I can use. It's super easy to make. The most difficult part is making the whipped cream and honestly, if you want, you can just buy pre-made whipped cream too. Okay, first move all this junk out of the way. I'm pretty sure the recipe is just heavy whipping cream and sugar, but I need to check just to make sure. My desk looks horrible. As you can see, I still have a huge chaotic mess of beads and jewelry supplies and whatnot. I just wanted to show you the new thing I made. As you can see, they are little ribbon rings, beaded ribbon rings. It's my first time making these beaded ribbons and very easy to make. What have I made today? I made two purple themed jellyfish keychains. I think they're pretty fun. I don't know. I still have a bunch of blue beads here that I want to use up. So I'm going to try making another phone strap with the blue beads. And I'm just using white string because I don't have blue string. I've kept my little lighter here because I like to make sure the ends are not fraying as I'm working. And then I just tie a knot here. Maybe this bow one? This bow one's pretty cute. Yeah, I really like this bow bead, so we'll stick with that. Basically, then you want to build the two strands and then you tie it at the end. I think that's okay. Now we can just start playing around with the beads, you know, building it up as we go. I don't really have a plan. I just kind of pick what I think looks good and go from there. So you see how I'm doing so far. It's pretty slow going. I'll finish the rest off camera. I have finished the design. All right, nice. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup. I, I think it's, it's time to clean up a little. So I didn't film yesterday just cause I had a pretty busy work week. So I was pretty tired. I still did create new things, which is really exciting like i've been on a roll i realized that as much as i love drawing and art i realized that i need like another easier creative hobby outlet to kind of like fuel and inspire me at the same time i think like doing the beading stuff has been helping me to actually pick up my ipad and like draw and stuff so let me show you what I have drawn so far. I decided to draw my own Snoopy. It's a pretty simple design because Snoopy himself is a very simple design. A couple of other just like really quick ideas. So I was thinking this could be a small print or a sticker. I like that one, yeah. So this one says bedtime is me time featuring a bear 
in bed looking all cozy this one is one i'm working on right now it's just another pretty girl portrait but i like doing these because i guess it's my comfort zone <laughs> okay so this design is another girl but i kind of made her more cute because i wanted to put it as a full body potentially like as packaging stickers or print maybe both okay so it says run you've got mail she's in uniform and she's running to deliver mail yeah i might turn this into a packaging sticker like a circle one so i can put it on all my packages because i think it's really cute i don't know about you but like i will run if i know a package has been delivered <laughs> I literally filmed myself sketching for like a minute, maybe two. This is why I'm not good at filming while I'm drawing because I get so in the zone that I end up finishing it before actually showing it. But I titled it as collector of cute things, but I don't like the word thing. So I just wrote collector of cute up here. Out of all of these, I've actually never owned a Tamagotchi, but I very much like the aesthetic of one. And I'm sure if I had one as a kid, I would have liked it. Okay, I finished that collector of cute drawing. Let me show you. Ta-da! I think it's adorable. I had a ton of fun just creating and I feel like my creativity is at an all-time high. I don't know. It's just been good. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one, hopefully. Bye!